Hey guys, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ariel. I have been accepted to Spring Advantage 2017 for a character performer and I really want to make this vlog for you guys. I um, this is I applied to the college program twice and I think I know a lot of tips and advice that I want to share with you. So hopefully you guys can all get accepted. So step number one of applying to the Disney College program, you are going to enter um, just your basic information at first and then at the bottom of that is the job description and what type of skills you obtained and like who you worked for and stuff such. Most people just put like a short little description of what they did during their job. Um, I did that my first time applying and I actually did not get in. I did things a little bit differently my second time applying and I got accepted. So, so I did a ton of research after not getting accepted the first time and I found that Disney has four key they are safety, courtesy, show, and efficiency. I made sure to incorporate those into my application somehow. Also, keep in mind that when recruiters look at your application, they are looking for your experience in your different jobs and they're going to try and match up your experience with the roles that you picked. So what I did for my second time applying, I made a list of the top roles that I wanted versus like the lower roles that I didn't really have as much interest in. So I just went to program components, then I went to earning and went to role description. And if you scroll down, you can see every single different role and all of its descriptions. So for example, if I was really interested in attractions, I would see a little video about what it's about. And then it literally tells you everything that is about attractions. And this is, this is like, a golden ticket for you you don't even know about because if it says for example maintaining safety hazards right there then you can put in your application that you had a job where you had to maintain safety standards so that's just kind of an easy way for a recruiter to see that you have experience in something that matches a role that you have interest in so um disney actually uses this program when you first apply uh it's like a computer program i don't know what it's called i looked it up a while ago but it, you send in your application and it sees if you have grammatical errors. It, it pulls out certain words that they're looking for. It pulls out different skills that they're looking for. Um, and that's kind of how people get stuck in submission sometimes. If you guys don't know what submission is, it's when people will apply and then they they never get anything back. They never get a web-based interview. They never get told no, but they're just like in this submission island where they don't know if they're going to get in the college program or not and that would just really suck to have to wait that long and then sometimes people get pulled out of submission some people actually have to stay in submission the whole time um so to avoid that make sure that you edit 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 go through your job description over and over again show other people make sure you have everything spelled right make sure that you have those those four keys that i talked about before and that you have those keywords of the different roles that you want in there. Also, when you look at skills, I would say only put like four or five skills down. Because remember, even though this goes through a machine at first, a person actually looks at your application during your phone interview and they're not going to want to like look through everything when they're talking to you. They're just going to glance at it really, really fast and you just want to put the most important skills down. So once you're done with the job description, you're going to go to another page where you can put if you have interest or not in certain roles. This is kind of what it looks like. I actually took pictures of all of these just because I wanted to remember so yeah, I would definitely say at least put interest in half the roles. Um, the less interest that you put in roles or the less roles that you put interest in just limits you to a job down there. Um, there are certain roles that are super selective like children's activities, bippity boppity booty, character performer. So like if you just put those down, you're really limiting yourself and to the opportunities that you could have. The roles that accept a lot more college program students are like attractions and merchandise and quick food and beverage. I always put down merchandise and attractions on there because that's just something I would be interested in. But um, 
I didn't want to limit myself with just putting down like really small roles. I mean, character tenant and uh, children's activity were definitely something that I really, really wanted to do. So they're at the top of my list, but I didn't want to limit myself. So I made sure to put down other um, roles that I had any interest in. So once you're done with the application, you'll actually get this email. I'll show you. Um, that just says thank you for applying and that there's a lot of people. Um, I usually, I got it like an hour after I applied, I think, both times. So, another fun fact is that this whole process is quite the waiting game. No one ever told me that the first time I applied, but I literally applied the first day and didn't hear back until the very last day. That was like four months long. So, definitely bring your patience with you. Know that Disney has a lot of applications to go through that you will eventually eventually hear back so yeah um please comment below if you have questions i have done so much research i know a lot of stuff so please 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 ask i think i'm gonna do another vlog about the fun interview process i have literally a document of like 54 pages of like all possible phone interview um questions <laughs> So, um, yeah, I might like put it on a Google Docs and post it on a vlog. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful time applying. It's so exciting and I love it. Bye, guys.